Amen. Let us pray together in confession. Heavenly Father, we admit our sins against you and our neighbor, knowing that we deserve only your wrath and punishment. Forgive us these sins in the name of your Son, Jesus, that we may stand at this table made righteousness because of his sacrifice for us. Amen. For on the night in which our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was betrayed, he took bread. And after giving thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup and he gave it to them also, saying, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this as oft as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, you are our great Redeemer, and through your body and blood, you have been made whole. We give you thanks for this holy food, the living water and the bread of life, that through it you have given us new life, now and for all eternity. Amen. This time I would ask those who are able to please stand for our closing hymn. Stay here for that. Hear the word of the Lord from Hebrews chapter 7. 
The former regulation is set aside because it was weak and useless. For the law made nothing perfect, and a better hope is introduced by which we draw near to God. And now may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen.